All right, everybody, we made it to Friday, a little finance Friday. We're going to check in with Modern Horizons 2, a set that came out June 18th. So a set well out over a month at this point, uh, where those prices are at with fetch lands, and then also some important mystery boosters info that needs to be on your radar. If it isn't already, the video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake and welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel Are Magic. Today, we've got a little Finance Friday for you where it's going to be a short and sweet one. We're going to check in a little bit with Modern Horizons 2. I'm going to give you my opinion on where we are right now. And then also mystery boosters. There's uh, some important things that need to be on your radar with this product. Uh, I'm going to give you the TLDR of that. Make sure to stick right there. I don't know why I said stick right there. Just click like and subscribe. If you like these finance videos, we're almost to 20,000 subscribers. I would love to push to that and get there in the next month or so. So help us get there by clicking subscribe right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. My brain is not awake yet. So again, Modern Horizons 2 came out on June 18th as of the filming of this video. It is July 30th, so it has been a month and about 12 days. It's still a new set, but even in this short period of time, the Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set has come and gone. We are already thinking about Innistrad and whatever new secret layer, or in this case, mystery boosters that we're going to be talking about today. But I do want to check in. Uh, I just want to kind of explain that Modern Horizons 2, uh, we do have the fetch lands here. We see at $34.50 for Scalding Tarn, $35 this range. Let's go ahead and look at Extended as well. Pretty comparable, uh, just about a $5 difference for the Extended version, which is, I guess, in my opinion, going to be the more desirable version down the road. Again, with all of these variants, you know, there's no limit to the number of times we can uh, reprint these cards. Here we're looking at the retro version, and this is the etched these are lowest prices, by the way. Price plus shipping, lowest first. And then we do see retro foil popping up here. This is from Canada for like 95 after shipping. Here's a retro foil for 98. This is going to be not etched. About 35 for the base version, 40 for the extended non foil. The etched version coming in at around 50. And then the, the retro foil non etched coming in. For Scalding Tarn, just below $100 as of right now. Um, I don't see, if, uh, I don't know if we're going to see much more of a dip on these cards at this point. We did see Scaldings get below 30 for just a short period of time. But now as the set is moving further and further away, people are going to be focused on new products. Again, I think a lot of uh, players saw um, just how this product dropped, especially the collector product down from like 400 all the way down to like 325 uh, a lot of people saw if they didn't open the right cards. I mean, with like a lot of these products, I know it goes without saying, but Modern Horizons 2 did have fetch lands and did have a lot of heavy hitting mythics. I have seen some pretty abysmal collector box openings where like one fetch land has been hit, zero fetch lands have been hit. Although that is rare, it does happen. And if you don't hit the right mythics, you can really take a bath on it. So at this point, when you see the prices are this low, if you wanted to pick up a cycle of the fetch lands, let's go ahead and look at what the cheapest price is on the rest. So looking at Misty now, price plus shipping lowest first over here. Yeah, Misty 33, best offer. You could probably get in there and get that for around 30 bucks. That's really not bad. Misty Rainforest is a very good fetch land. Again, anything with blue in it, highly desired. Scalding and Misty being the most expensive little bit of a look at the extended Misty Rainforest. So 34, right around that exact same price. So if you do like the extended variant, we even have one here for best offer. You could probably get in for less than that, maybe around 32 to 33 range if you send an offer in. Taking a look at Verdant Catacombs now, right around 2775. You could probably get this for about 25 bucks. This is right around the target that I, I wanted for Verdant Catacombs. So this does look like a really good, a really good jump in price for me. If I didn't have these, I probably would pick them up. Again, if you can get one for like 25 bucks, if you send an offer in, that's a really good price on this card. Not going to go over all the extendeds, but let's take a look at extended Verdant. Yeah, 29.70. If you want one for EDH, you really like that extended variant. 
that seems like a good jump in point for me these are the kind of lands that are the cornerstone of a good modern collection and i don't mean modern format i just mean cards that are playable across a multitude of formats uh highly desirable they get soaked up right now we are in the dip again this set came out june 18th about a month and 12 days passed since then i might be wrong on that math who the hell knows but i'm not going to look it up right now then we have marsh flats let's take a look here yes less than 20 dollars for marsh extended exact same price right around 20 bucks and we can see arid mesa here right around the same price extended right around the same price so we don't need to get much more into that i'm not going to go over every single card from the set i think the fetch lands are a perfect place to check in we have seen a big dip on a lot of the uh, mythics from the set grief has taken a big dive from where it once was along with uh, some of the other cards in that cycle um, esper sentinel holds a good price we will see a retrace on a lot of these but now is the best time to be picking up modern horizons 2 singles in my opinion um I do have a what I'm buying that's going to be coming out in the next few days where I'm going to talk about some of the cards that I bought from the set. Make sure you're subscribed if you're interested in that. Next, we're going to talk about Mystery Boosters. Beginning August 20th, limited quantities of Mystery Booster Convention Edition will be available at WPN stores with in-store play events available where possible. Some of the stores, and I'm going to link everything in the video, you can go down and read it yourself. What you need to know is that Convention Edition is going to have playtest cards in place of that foil slot. So in the Retail Edition, we originally had foils. There will not be foils. So this new influx of product, don't expect it to affect the foil price of that previous product very much. Expect playtest cards. A lot of those are going to dip in price. I know that a lot of playtest cards got very pricey. But what you do need to know is that there are going to be cards in this set that are going to be heading out into circulation that are going to move the needle on staples. Now, it's really difficult to look at the full list of these cards just because the, this is a massive set. But as somebody who opened a couple boxes of Mystery Boosters, pulled Mana Crypts in those, Mana Crypts showed up a lot more than we expected. So if you are sitting on a Mana Crypt, if you are sitting on some of the high-end rares from the set, we'll go ahead and take a look at those in a second just know that now is probably a good time to move those cards and then you can buy back in once those dip again i do expect even though it says limited convention edition i do expect there to be a sizable and notable amount going out but i do expect it to be more than we're expecting here based on what it says here with limited again this is going to be given out as prize support i do know that boxes are going to be sold most likely we're probably going to see a huge adjustment on these prices so let's uh let's take a look at this really quick if we go over here and we look at a convention edition booster box you can already see pre-orders oh man there's a lot of people that are going to be really upset but i just want to show this if we go completed items here and then we go ended recently you could see that we're seeing some convention edition pre-sales but like this person who bought for 7.99 here on july 16th oh man they're about to take a bath 8.49 may 1040 all of these people that are likely just holding these oh i do not expect to pay these prices i'm just going to say that right out the gate expect it to be like right around here will there be a retrace i mean this is already showing you like right like exactly what i'm saying do not fomo out over this product we saw these boxes let's see what the highest that ebay has for us they sold for much higher than this but we do see one that sold on may 6th for uh 1300 or best offer most likely a best offer was on that we have one for 1250 buy it now that also sold on may 6th if i was buying this product i'd be buying it to hold it let's look at exactly why people are buying this product we are over here on card kingdom and it's all kind of like combined here but we go price plus shipping highest first you will see the sliv drazi monstrosity sliv mizzet very expensive cards again mana crypt is one of the cards that appeared in this set and it got as low as like 80 dollars, and now the card has crept back up to 150. i've sold my mana crypts i sold them at their peak when i wasn't using them i do expect to buy back in when they are lower if i don't open one in the packs that i that i get this is one of those cards expected to be reprinted over and over and over again don't don't hold it if you're not using it it's one of those cards that's good to sell but you could just see a lot of these uh playtest cards have crept up in price the thing that you're going to want to do is make sure 
that you go through your mystery booster cards that are not foil. Because again, the playtest cards are going to replace those foils. Go through your cards that are not foil that you aren't using and sell them now before this set comes out in a month and it's back on everybody's radar and they're mass opening it and stores are getting big allocations. Expect like uh, Channel Fireball, Star City Games, Card Kingdom are going to be getting just pallets and mountains of this. It is my understanding none of this will go to Amazon. If you're sitting there and you're like, oh God, is this going to end up at, at Amazon? My understanding is that this is local game store only. Again, go in here and read this whole article. We don't need to do that. But I'm not just going to sit here and read the internet. I know that some of you love when I do that. Uh, these two cards here, Soulmates and Yawgmoth's Testament, are getting new art. So expect the old art on these in theory expect the price to either stay the same or go up on the old ones that's just in my opinion the original versions are going to be removed finally if you'd like to pursue all 1670 cards we have a complete list below go ahead and check that out again sell your mana crypts um if you're watching this video expect that card to go down in price and until next time i'm jake with jake and Joel magic i hope you've enjoyed this finance friday as we've talked about modern horizons 2 and some mystery boosters contents that needs to be on your radar and i hope it is now we will see you when that comes out on i guess august 20th is that what that said beginning august 20th limited quantities of mystery booster convention edition will appear at wpn stores with in-store play events available where possible i'll see you later